Green World presents Healthy Composting. Compost is the foundation of good organic soil. We can effectively reduce wet waste in garbage bins by composting. By composting, we can produce organic fertilizer cheaply. So, my friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you some basics of composting. I will also show you how to build an indoor, user-friendly, clean, DIY microcomposter. As this is a microcomposter, it can only do cold compost and it might take a longer time to compost. This microcomposter is portable, it's odorless, and most importantly, keeps the unwanted pests out. Perfect compost has a fine crumbly texture and an earthly smell. In the final compost, the original ingredients that made the compost will no longer be visible having transformed into a dark looking even consistency making our own compass we know what went into the compass moreover it's cheaper compass is a valuable garden remedy for all types of soil improves soil porosity moisture retention and nutrition for plants Composting can divert 30% of household waste from landfills. When organic matter hits the landfill, it lacks the air it needs for to decompose quickly. Instead, it creates harmful methane gas as it breaks down, increasing the rate of global warming. Composting is nature's way of recycling. Composting is a natural biological process. It requires oxygen to decompose. In this process, various microorganisms, bacteria and fungi break down organic matter into simpler substances. During this process, heat is given off. Bulky carbon-rich organic materials are the dry browns in compost. Bulky nitrogen-rich organic materials are the wet greens in compost. To make perfect compost, there has to be a proper balance of carbon and nitrogen rich organic materials. If too much green material is added to the compost, it will smell like sewage, which indicates the compost mixture is off balance. A healthy compost pile should have more carbon than nitrogen. The ideal ratio should be three parts of dry browns to one part of wet greens. The ideal physical conditions for healthy composting will be the presence of water, good aeration and a hot climate. These conditions keep the microorganisms in the compass happy and thriving. A healthy compost pile can create heat up to 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. To transform bulky organic material into finished compass may take as long as 4 to 6 months. Use brown materials that are easily and abundantly available in your local area as we need more browns than greens to make good compass. What you shouldn't compost? Animal carcass Fats and dairy should not go into the compost as they will attract pests. Weeds and diseased plants are also not good in compost. Do not use pet or human manure on food crops as they might carry diseases. Two general methods of composting surface composting and pit composting surface composting is easier as it needs less labor to set up pit composting on the other hand is labor demanding surface composting is more expensive than pit composting as it requires a bin or a wooden enclosure to hold the compost materials it needs to be covered to avoid rain and pests in surface composting, the green and brown materials are layered inside a compost bin. 
it has to be high enough and covered. In pit composting, the green and brown materials are piled in layers in a deep pit or trench in the ground. It is then covered with a layer of soil. This method is good for larger, bulky waste. In surface composting, the pile has to be regularly turned and constantly checked. If too wet, the pile will get compacted and will start to smell. There will be no proper aeration if the pile is all clumped up. Decomposition will slow down. If too dry, decay will also be slow. In pit composting, good quality compost is obtained in a shorter period of time. It is also easier to turn the materials inside the pit. Moreover, high temperature inside the pit will kill off any pathogens. There will be less bad odour from the composting materials. To speed up the composting process, the materials in the compost pile need to be layered, alternating with greens and browns. Setting up my micro composter. The micro composter has two main components a black 5 litre pail on the outside and a 3 litre waste paper basket on the inside. Made a 3 quarter inch hole at the base. This is to enable excess moisture to flow into the black pail. Reducer was fixed to waste paper basket. This enables excess moisture to flow freely and not get clogged up. PVC accessories for black pail. A 3 quarter inch hole was made at the bottom side of a 5 litre black pail. The outer black pail will trap the heat in the compass. Reducer and elbow was then fixed to the tank connector. Attach cap to one end of PVC pipe. This will reduce any bad smell from the compost. Join PVC pipe to reducer on pail. Here I am using a 6 inch PVC pipe as support at the bottom. The waste paper basket is now stood on the PVC pipe stand. with the first layer of dry brown materials using newspaper and dried leaves. The next layer is wet greens which includes all kitchen and refrigerator waste. This is followed by a third layer of dry browns. This layering process of wet greens and dry browns is then repeated until the basket gets full. Sprinkle some water after the last layer of dry browns. As my browns were wet, I did not sprinkle any water. Seal the micro composter tightly with newspaper. After three months, the wet greens and dry browns in the micro composter will be transformed into garden gold. my friends thanks for watching happy composting and producing garden gold